Thrawn is at risk. The darkening corrupts everything it touches. I saw Dark Crystal in the same theatre that I watched Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. I just remember it being quite an overwhelming experience. Another one of those movies where you come out of the cinema slightly changed. It's such an incredibly all-encompassing, vivid world on a level with Middle Earth or Pandora or Westeros. Dark Crystal does mean a lot to so many people. It is a rare film that has an entirely original fantasy world. That's one of the reasons we wanted to go back there. The series is a prequel. It starts in the time when the Gelfling had a rich and prosperous civilization. Mm. All hail the lords of the crystal. All hail the Skeksis. We're meeting these characters right at the peak of the Skeksis' power. They look up to the Skeksis. The Skeksis are these benevolent leaders. They are the lords of the crystal. And our show is the moment that the Gelfling start to say, maybe they aren't so great. Lord of the crystal. He's the son of the captain of the guard. He witnesses something horrific. The Skeksis are the real traitors. They lied to us about everything. He basically has to go on this kind of quest to set things right and make everyone aware of what's really going on. Rian has escaped with proof of our dark deeds. Bring him and the treasure he stole from us back to the castle. I was taken aback. I was just sideswiped by the scale and majesty and artistry of it. I think you'll get a sense of that. You'll get a sense of a big, eclectic world. Our world is dying. We all have a part to play in restoring the balance and defeating the Skeksis. What fans of the Dark Crystal want is they want an odyssey. They want a saga. They want something to enrich the universe of the original film. And that's what this series does. You could put them side by side and it is the same world, but there's just so much more of it to explore.